So nothing better than to fire us up for the day is a lesson from Our Lady. So we'll start with the, a short act of contrition and then we'll go into the provenient act. Um, well, the post-communion prayers. Okay. And just if everybody could just mute themselves, that's really good. Um, okay. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And we'll say the um, our provenient acts for the day. And if if um, I don't know if you've got it on here, Michael, but if anybody else has it, has the book there, it's uh, towards the end, 409, post-communion prayers. So we say, Jesus, with the dawn of each new day, through your dearest mother, Mary, I renew my acceptance of this gift and I thank you with all of my heart and my soul. May I live every moment in your divine will. Jesus, I desire to enter into you and to be one with you, and I take what I find in you. Jesus, I find in you my own life and the lives of everyone, from Adam to the last one to be created, which you have perfectly redone in your divinity. And I offer them to the Father with you for his glory and a perfect return of love. Amen. My Jesus, in your loving providence, you have allowed us to learn that your kingdom is now coming on earth, that we can enter into this kingdom. And this is what I wish to do with all of my heart. I want your divine will to reign in me all day long, as it did in paradise in Adam and Eve as it did in your home, Nazareth, in Mary, with Joseph. I want your divine will to reign in me, as it did in Louisa, the firstborn in the divine will in these times. I want you to animate all that I do, to think my thoughts, speak my words, and do my actions. I want the divine will to have complete freedom in my humanity, so that at every moment of this day and night, your holy will may be done in me to give you all the love, adoration, praise, thanksgiving, honour, glory and reparation on behalf of the human race and especially on behalf of those who do not yet know that they can enter into the kingdom of your divine will. Amen. Ever holy and indivisible Trinity, I adore you profoundly. I love you intensely. I thank you perpetually for all and in the hearts of all. Daily prayer to the Heavenly Queen for the month of May. Immaculate Queen, my Heavenly Mother, I come upon your maternal lap as your dear child to abandon myself in your arms and to entreat you with the most ardent sighs in this month consecrated to you, the greatest grace of all. May you dispose me to live in the kingdom of the divine will. Holy Mother, as the Queen of this kingdom, Dispose me, your child, to live in it, so that it may no longer be deserted, but filled with your children. I entrust myself to you, my sovereign queen, 
that you may guide my steps into the kingdom of the divine will. Held tightly by your maternal hand, guide my whole being to live the unending life of the divine will. May you be a mother to me, and I shall offer to you, my mother, my own will, so that you may make it completely submissive to the divine will, and I will be sure never to leave its kingdom. So I entreat you to illuminate me, make me understand what the will of God means. The daily aspiration of the month. In the morning, at midday and in the evening, three times a day, let us climb upon the lap of our Heavenly Mother and say, My Mother, I love you. Love me too. Increase in my soul the will of God. And grant me your blessing also, so that I may do all my actions under your eternal gaze. And I am fight. Tara. We'll just say day three, the third step of the divine will in the Queen of Heaven. All creation smiles upon the conception of the heavenly baby. Mother, this little child of yours, enraptured by your heavenly lessons, feels the extreme desire to come every day upon your maternal lap and listen to you as you infuse your maternal teachings into my heart. Your love, your sweet accent, you're taking me in your maternal arms and pressing me to your heart, infuses me, infuses in me courage and confidence. It reassures me that my mother will give me the great grace of making me understand the great evil of my will and of making me live in the divine will. My child, listen closely to what your tender mother wishes you wishes to tell you. It is my maternal heart that speaks to you. And as I see you wanting to listen closely to what I am about to say, my heart rejoices and feels the certain hope that my child will take possession of the kingdom of the divine will, which I possess within my maternal heart to give to my children. Therefore, be attentive in listening to my teachings and write all my words within your heart so that you may always meditate on them and pattern your life after them. Listen, my child, as soon as the divinity smiled and rejoiced over my immaculate conception, the supreme fiat took its third step in my little humanity. Although I was ever so tiny, the supreme fiat endowed me with divine reason. Moving all creation to rejoice, the supreme fiat caused me to be recognised by all created things as their queen. Creation recognised in me the life of the divine will and the whole universe prostrated itself at my feet, even though I was tiny and not yet born. Singing my praises, the sun rejoiced over me and smiled at me with its light. The heavens celebrated me with their stars, which smiled at me with their meek and sweet twinkling and offered themselves as a radiant crown upon my head. 
the sea rejoiced over me with the peaceful rising Can, can you say that again? Sorry, Marianne. Um, the sea rejoiced over me with the peaceful rising and falling of its waves. In sum, there was not one created thing that did not unite itself to the smile and to this feast of the most holy trinity. All accepted my dominion, my rule and my command and felt honoured because after so many centuries from the time Adam had lost his command and dominions as king by withdrawing from the divine will, they found their queen in me. All creation proclaimed me queen of heaven and earth my dear child when the divine will reigns in a soul it does not know how to do small things but only great things it wants to centralize all its divine qualities within the fortunate soul and everything that came from its omnipotent fiat surrounds the soul and remains obedient to its wishes. What did the divine fear not give me? It gave me everything. Heaven and earth were in my power. I felt I could exercise dominion over all things, even over my creator. Now, my child, listen closely to your tender mother. Oh, how my heart grieves in seeing you weak, poor, and without true dominion over yourself. Fears, doubts, and apprehensions are that which dominate you. All miserable rags of the human will. And do you know why? because the complete life of the divine will is not established within you. The life which, putting to flight all the evils of the human will, makes you happy and fills you with all the blessings it possesses. Oh, if with a firm resolution you decide no longer to give life to your human will, you will feel all evils die within you and all goods come back to life. And then everything will smile at you as the divine will shall have taken its third step within you as well. And all creation will rejoice over the newly arrived soul in the kingdom of the divine will. So, my child, tell me, will you listen closely to what your tender mother wishes to tell you? Do you give me your word that you will never do your will ever again? Know that if you do this, I shall never leave you. I will place myself as the guardian of your soul and I will envelop you within my light so that no one shall dare disturb you my child and i will give you my rule so that you may rule over all the evils of your own will heavenly mother your lessons descend into my heart and fill it with a heavenly balm I thank you for lowering yourself so much to me, poor little child that I am. But, dear mother, I fear myself. Still, if this is what you desire, 
and since I can do anything with you, I abandon myself like a little baby in your arms. My mother, confident, confident that I will satisfy your maternal yearnings. Today, to honour me, look at the heavens, the sun and the earth, and uniting yourself with creation, recite three glorias three times to thank God for having constituted me queen of all creation. Powerful queen, exercise your dominion over my will and convert it into the divine will. You say the three glory bees. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, <clears throat> and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <laughs>